Hi, today we are going to go over how to give your snake um, an IM or intramuscular injection. So your vet prescribed out medication and they said that you need to do an injection. So we want to ease this into it um, so you feel comfortable giving your snake a reptile an injection. Uh, most of the injections um, are frozen. So when you take them out of the freezer, you want to make sure that you thaw them completely. So the amount of the medication in there is going to vary between different size snakes. You want to make sure that you're warming it up completely. That up and down, there's no ice crystals. And you can kind of flick it like that to get rid of excessive bubbles. And then you want to move it all the way up to the top. So you just barely see right there. So in snakes, you want to do it on the first one third part of their body for the injection. You don't want to go to the half or the lower half of the body. And you're actually for intramuscular injections, their muscle is on each side of the spine. So you can fill the spine straight back. And on either side of it, there's a layer of muscle that you're going to give the injection. When you give an injection, you're actually gonna go in between the scales, not directly into a scale, but in between, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. When you're giving injections, multiple injections, you wanna make sure that you'll alternate sides so they don't get sore or tender. So here we go. We have our injection, it's completely thawed. So on a needle, they have what's called a bevel, the bevel side up. So the slanty part going straight down like that is how you wanna go in. And like I said, you'll need somebody to help hold because they are wiggly. So I have somebody holding and she'll hold the top half and then that part so it stabilizes the middle in which I need. I'll take my hand and I feel for that spine right there in the middle and you can feel the bone right there. And I'm gonna go off to either side. I'm gonna go in between the scales and you don't have to go very far. Pull back to make sure you didn't get any blood or air and then just give the injection. When you're done, put your finger on it just to hold off. There might be a little bit of bleeding, but not very much because you didn't give it into a vessel. And then everything's good. You make sure that the bleeding has stopped. Um, and like I said, when you give the next injection, you're gonna wanna, I went on the right side today. So you'll go into the left side. You wanna make sure that you follow all the instructions on the prescription, how often you're doing it, um, for how many treatments. And if you have any questions or concerns, definitely give us a call. If you had pulled back on that injection site and you had gotten some blood in the syringe, you just take the syringe out and you go to another spot and then you try again. Um, and if you're having any issues, just give us a call and we'll help work it through. Have a good day. Thanks.